Hi guys, Shane McKay back um, with physical therapy, body mechanics, physical therapy and first aid training. Uh, I'm just going to show you stretch today for um, Achilles tendonitis. I've seen quite a bit of this in the last few weeks um, and just explain to you how it happens. I'm just going to grab my old skeleton leg here for you. So basically you have the calf muscles that attach in here <clears throat> and they come down and they form into a tendon which goes into the heel bone here. So basically what happens uh, for a lot of people who are say running or in the gym um, you get some frictioning around the the tendon around here um, it can happen insidiously it can be you know if you're, if you're doing a lot of walking as well and um, what you probably find is that when you get out of bed in the morning this can be quite stiff and sore and when you start running it can be quite sore and then it sort of eases out but then it'll be a lot sore afterwards um, so i would say if you're doing any kind of exercise a good preventative would be to be stretching these areas which i'm going to show you now um, and if you have if you do have this at the minute a lot of icing three four times a day for 10 minutes would really really help and then after that using some heat so I'm going to show you a really good stretch for this now <clears throat> so I'm gonna to have to move this I'm afraid I don't have a really good photographer or editor it's me so forgive me so what you want is a step you can use a step in the house and basically what you're going to do is you're going to get up on the step like this. So if you can see my leg, my left leg here, what I'm going to do is drop my heel right down. I'm going right, right down like this. This leg is staying um, just as it is, but it's this leg that we're really stretching. So I'm getting a great stretch from the back here, right down, right underneath my foot. And you want to hold this for a good 30 seconds, even a minute. And if you do it twice, and if you can do that, sorry now, bring this back up here. If you can do that, um, at least in the morning and in the evening, it'll really stretch everything from, from the behind the knee right down underneath the foot. Um, and again, especially people who are, if you're very flat footed, everything's been stretched underneath the foot, right up into the calf areas, and then the, um, the Achilles have become susceptible. And it also created a torquing if you're an overpronator. If you roll your feet in uh, and you run, it can, it can really irritate those areas. Um, so that's it. Give that a go. And if you have any questions, email me info by the .ie or ring me 087-943-6093 and I can fill you in. Thanks a million. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.